we can get into a lot of stuff. Dave showed me the set list tonight, or the song list, of all the songs we have recorded and put out into the atmosphere. Yes, sir. I was overwhelmed. I was like, man, that's a long, that would be like, we'd be here for like four days. We're going to need some water for the horses. Well, sure. We've got some wine, but it's dwindling quickly. Thank you guys so much for showing up here on this Friday evening. What a tradition. What a tradition. I, I, seriously, I, I can't thank you enough when we, uh, when we see the numbers of the pre-sale tickets that we've sold for a show in our hometown. And it, it grew from last year by, by quite a bit. And we, were, uh, we didn't even release a beer. And we were so excited that Rocky showed out a little bit more this year. Thank you. The only person that I've ever, well, that I've lived with that cleans the house before it's going to get dirty. <laughs> Dang, girl. I really appreciate it. I'm like, you're going to do it again when everybody leaves. I know. But when they come in, the floors are going to look great. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, come and see you the rest of the time. And this is off mic. That is the best your band has sounded I've ever heard. It was fantastic. It was great. Bruce and Dave and the Sound Concepts crew and Ian back there running sound. We'd like to thank our friends Jill and Tracy that are running the uh, entrance tonight that are always running the entrance. Let me tell you something about these people. These two people, Jill and Tracy, they live in Monticello. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that because you stalked them. If anything happens to them, our whole band will kick the shit out of you. Hey, we could, like six on one, give us a break. Six on one? So, they have never been on an airplane before. Whoa. Really? Oh, hi. So nice. Cops in the house? Yeah. Shit, who dressed you? Guys, you guys clearly didn't dress in the dark. You look great. Um, but they've never been on an airplane before. And now Jill and Tracy saw us, and I think it was 2009 in, at Monks in Dubuque, Iowa. And then they just kept showing up. And I'm like, all right, Cheap Trick fans, clearly. Yeah! They have, they have a way about themselves that, you know, you're like, we do like your dance band, yeah, we do. But that's not why we're here. I'm like, number one, I call bullshit. Because that's the reason they that intrigued you to bring you here. But their first plane ride, they made it to Copenhagen on our European tour last week. Yeah. And, and surprised us by showing up at the club unannounced. And I'm like, you are the two most likely people that I, if you were to like give me a poll, like out of all my friends, who are the two people that won't travel to see you in Copenhagen? Jill and Tracy, for sure. They walk into the club. I'm like, did I miss something? Are we in Iowa or is this Germany? Oh, I'm sorry, this is Copenhagen, Denmark. Right, yeah. That's how, that's how a tour went. They're in Denmark. It was awesome. What is wrong with you people? I love it. Thank you so much for doing all that you do for Miles and Miles. Sometimes when you have a crowd full of people, it's really nice to thank them in front of them. If you hold me 